Wildcats have the basketball first, feed it into Williams. He drives, he puts it up, it'll go, he will go to the free throw line. Fog dumps it back down, and Solomon Hill. It's like some lethargy, I think I'm upset. And here you see a great kick, a good roll. Solomon Hill with the size and the body, Kyle Fogg, great pass. Our instant replays, Corey, as they have been all season, and we appreciate it, are brought to you by Carondelet Health Network. Our mission, our faith. Hi to Solomon. Arizona sets up their half-court offense. Whoa! Hill with a wonderful... Giving turnovers and, and making bad plays is only to their advantage. Wise off the pick with the... And here's Lavender, out with Wise, trying to get a shot off the screen. Doesn't get it. Takes a couple of... I don't know where we would be without Nick, but it wouldn't be a good place. And I hope that the legacy he leaves here is one where he's the bridge from what used to be to where we're going. And uh, I respect him and appreciate him more than any player that I've ever coached. That's pretty high praise. Wow. Nick Wise is resting right now, so Melo takes the point. Finds a little hole, drives, puts it up high off the glass, and in. USC. Momo probing, left hand, has it knocked away, goes down to the deck, and the Trojans give it back to the Wildcats. Derek Williams underneath, waits. Nice patience. We've seen photographs of two. This is an unusual, oh, there are so many interesting subplots here. Williams turns around, nice play along the baseline. Fires out to Jones, splits two, off the glass, doesn't go. Nice follow by Jordan. Wise, no foul call. Ford. Well, they caught him. He's going to do something with it. Puts it up and in. <laughs> Not a lot of three-point shots taken by Arizona. As we say that, Jamel looks for a three-pointer. And it's a four-point. Right. He's delivered a big three right there to bring Arizona within four. Nick with a little pump fake and kick out to Jamel. That was a deep three-point shot, but Jamel Horn, he's hit him before, and he hit it today. All year long, this team has had a remarkable series of runs in both directions. That shot extends a 7-0 Arizona run to get just a buck underneath playing 500 for the season, and no one gave them. You thought there was no... Let's take a look at Jamel getting hot from three-point range. It's one of those no, 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 yes. Don't shoot it, don't shoot it. Great shot. Jamel Horn. <laughs> those of Loyola Marymount. Jones out to Hill. Cats need to get back on the board. Nice movement by Williams, but the pick by Horn. away from the basketball, Corey. Momo Jones on the penetration, just jump with not anybody to anybody to give it to. In the game, Fogg down deep to Williams. Soft left-hander, nice. This one that foul. A lot of fouls in this game. Wise pops it in. Kicks it out to Fogg. Nice bit of defense by Lewis. So the drive by Hill, two up, and he goes up. I understand there was a little bit of a hop, hop, ho, or rock, paper, scissors to find out who amongst your trio you friends are going to make that. Yeah! Oh, no, That's boxing on the national level. Yeah, you know, I was uh, really sorry that uh, we didn't have the Manny Pacquiao uh, Mayweather fight. There was some for this team. Wise kicks it out. Horn misses it, but the putback almost goes down by Lavender. Arizona fortunate. Give it back to Brendan. Brendan. <laughs> How about this on the final day of the Pac-10 season? Brendan Lavender nails it to three. Arizona now trails by one. Here, midway through the second half, Williams down deep, left-hander up off the glass. Boy, that's a nice move. Can't score on this possession. Inside to Williams. Pretty high percentage move by Arizona. And down deep, that's what he does. How about Derek Williams? That's what he's been delivering all year. Just great Kevin McHale-like post moves on the block. He's just unstoppable. They go to him, and USC just stands around and watch Derek Williams go to work, and he's moving around up and unders and getting some contact. Wise to Williams. Derek with 13 points. Trojans would have liked to have had those 15 down is designed double teams to stop you and the other tip the other nine teams of the conference recognize you as a threat i think that's it coming so he calls that timeout here you see kyle fogg using that ball screen no one steps up and kyle 
goes all the way to the basket, and then the big guy comes over with his hands up. The Fog's seen that a million times this season. He gathers himself, he gets his geometry correct, and goes off the glass for two. He's, he's definitely stepped up and done a great job for the Cats. He's done it all, and these are high degree of difficulty points. These aren't, you know, no disrespect to Jared Bayless, but he had the keys to the car. He could come down and shoot threes. Derek Williams gets his points two at a time, and sometimes around three or four people. So when you look at the ability and you look at the talent, here we see in the double team and spins away from it. You got guys in the NBA that can't do that. And yeah, come out trying to win that tournament. Cats with a pair of timeouts remaining. USC has just one. The inbound play. Did Kyle get it off in time? Will count if it goes? They count it. They say yes. Well, you know, he may have a very good point on this one. Kyle, Kyle penetrates up and under. There you see the clock reading double zeros as Kyle's in the process of laying it up. In the game. Well, Dave, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say. Just when you think Arizona has to be careful, Nick Wise takes it on himself to drive, penetrate, get a little bit of contact for and one. No question about that play. He did get bumped. Great body control by the senior. Big shot at, a, at the right time for Arizona. And for his senior year, Wise, the fog, fog, the pressure on the outside. Kyle passing up off the screen. Fog is partially blocked. It's a foul. of Kyle Fogg, and it's not going to be a three-point shot. It's going to be three free-throw shots that will take forever, trust me. And the nominees for best athlete <laughs> in, a sun, in a Saturday afternoon drama. If we do go overtime. I told you these are going to take a long time. He used every bit of the rim on that one. the outside shot. Wise back to Jamel. He shoots the three. Lewis. Bobbing and weaving. And rejected soundly by Williams. The zone is due to see this flat out rejection. Just excellent timing by Derek Williams taking flight, sending that over there to the cheerleaders, creating a little souvenir. The second of regulation as Kyle Fogg hit three when he was fouled. Throwing a three, and that excited the Zona Zoo. Back in is Williams. Kyle Fogg winds up. Fourth foul. Now, if you're Simmons, you got to, if, if you're Coach O'Neill, you got to wonder what was Simmons thinking digging down and leaving Kyle Fogg. Now, albeit he was NBA deep, but it's still a wide open look for a guy who's been looking for a screen. Gets one from Williams. Nice pickup, though. Nick's going to travel through the middle, put it up, roll it in. Oh! And Kyle Fogg bats away the basket. Here you see the two screens. Nick can't find anything. Crosses over, splits the double team, hop, and at the last second switches to the right scoop finger roll. Just. So many different plays all rolled up in one. Nick Wise, a little bit of a gallop step there. Thought they could have called that. But that's that home cook. And Nick Wise, the senior, in the lane with the scoop shot. Gives Arizona the lead with seconds to go. Well, last week, it was the new guard with Momo Jones breaking the... There it is. Up, step, up. There's a goal. This one is in the books. In storybook fashion, what else can you say about Nick Wise? Well, when he wrote his name in the history of Arizona basketball, his last appearance in the Kale Center will be 
in capital letters and will say wise move again. <laughs> the final